Welcome to the Five on Five. Joining us today is Mark McQuarrie, the Executive Director of the Ross Raglan Theatre. Thanks so much for being here, Mark. Oh, it's my pleasure. You guys are gearing up for, it's called Arts on the Flyway. Arts on the Flyway, that's For great. those who aren't familiar with what that is, talk to us about what it is. Well, this is the first year. It's a three-day event featuring art and music in the Klamath Basin. And uh, the, the tagline is where art and music take flight. So we, we're very proud of the opportunity to present that to the community. So what does that look like? And I understand there's even more than art and music. I heard something about a pub crawl as well. So I mean, we, this really just runs the gamut. Absolutely. What we'll do is we'll open Friday night, September 23rd, with Pablo Cruz at the Ross Raglan. Then on Saturday, we'll have an all-day event with ki lots of kids' activities, food vendors, performances by dancers and musicians. We'll have three stages downtown. And that night, we're having a pub crawl for people who might want to take the event into the evening. Well, yeah, because when you're enjoying arts and music, food and drinks just kind of go Absolutely. hand in hand. Absolutely. And then how about on Sunday? On Sunday, we'll have more performances. Uh, we'll have a composer's showcase, and the Linkville Playhouse is doing Jekyll and Hyde, the Broadway musical. And there's some other activities that are being planned. We just haven't quite got them completely solid yet. It's the first time you've held an event like That's this. Right. So, of course, you got to work all the kinks out, That's get everything exactly right. figured out. And it's kind of a, a, a collaborative effort. There's several oh organizations my, taking part. Oh, my part. gosh, yes. It's the Fable Museum, which is a huge Native American Western Art Artifact Museum. We've got Discover Klamath. We've got the Klamath Art Association. We've got the Klamath Arts Council. We've got the, uh, the Folk Arts Society. So yeah, it's a really truly a collaboration between several organizations. And it's taking place, it's a whole bunch of different venues? We have a whole bunch of different venues, the entire downtown from 8th Street all the way down across to Discover Klamath, across the river. So you get that nice walk and so you get that exercise going. But we'll have stops along the way for kids' activities, families' activities, food vendors, three stages. We got you covered. Okay, we've got much more to talk about, but we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Joining us once again is Mark McCrary, the Executive Director of the Ross Ragland Theatre. Mark, thanks again for being here. My pleasure. So this is the first year of Arts on the Flyway. Right. It's an arts and music festival. I mean, it, there's a whole lot that's going into this three-day festival that's happening next month. Yes. We were just talking about how it really goes all through the downtown area. Mm -hmm. You said you can walk all through, but there's also a trolley ride. We actually have a, a historic looking trolley that'll carry people through different sites. And so you can stop along the way, you know, get off, get back on, however you want to do it. So you park at one end or either end actually, and you can take a trolley ride and stop, get food, listen to music, buy some art, those kinds of things. Okay, and save your feet a little bit if Save if your you feet a little to. bit, yes. Okay, and also there's some sort of tie-in with the National Park Centennial in Crater Lake. Can you talk a little bit about yes, that? Yes, I can. Actually, the National Park Service is celebrating 100 years in 2016, and we thought it would be a great opportunity, since Crater Lake is in Klamath County, to create an event around kind of that celebration. And Ride the Rim is that day, and so we'll be able to uh, tap into hopefully that and get local people involved as well. I mean, if you're ever looking for inspiration when you're doing some art, Crater Lake is not a bad place oh to get gosh, that. Oh my gosh, absolutely. And we'll have artists who actually have art on Crater Lake. Okay, very cool. Now, uh, admission charge for this three-day event. Oh, it's very expensive. It's free. Believe it or That's not. That's a lot of people's favorite number. That's exactly right. <laughs> that doesn't diminish the quality of the event. It's just it's such a big area that it's hard to actually ticket that kind of thing. Main Street will be blocked off, so we'll have that opportunity. But you'll have food vendors and, and things like that. So you'll have plenty of opportunities to buy art, enjoy music, and eat lots of great food. So you want it to be able to be available to, to anyone who would like to enjoy that's, it. That's our point. Our, our whole focus really is families and kids because we want kids to experience fun activities in the arts. We'll have workshops, we'll have surprise art along the way, plein air artists painting on the streets. So it's going to, we're going to transform downtown Klamath Falls. Wow. And can you give us those dates one more time? I sure can. September 23rd, 24th, and 25th. Mark your calendars. And where can people get more information? Go to artsontheflyway.org. Excellent. Anything I didn't touch on that you'd like to add, Mark? Oh, just come one, come all. It's going to be a fun time. Sounds come like Come see Klamath it. Falls. If you haven't been to Klamath Falls in a while, I think you're going to be very surprised what we can do. Sounds good to me. Thank you so much, Mark. Thanks, we appreciate Christine. you being here. We'll be right back.